Hello, I'm Nakra. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a super saw type lead sound with uh, FL Studios Harmer. So you're going to want to load up Harmer. And then you're going to want to uh, keep it on a sawtooth, set the phase randomness to all the way so that what, every time you hit a note, the phase is going to start at a different position of the uh, waveform. Next, uh, you're going to want to use the, uh, you're going to have to use the unison to get a super saw type sound with uh, Harmer, since Harmer doesn't really have oscillators in the traditional sense. What uh, unison does is basically makes a copy of the sound on top of one another, slightly out of tune, pan differently, phase different, you know, but sort of how unison works, but you know, in kind of a weird Harmer additive way. Let us switch the mode to classic, set it to 7, because uh, I'm not sure about this number, but I believe a super saw sound traditionally is 7 sawtooth oscillators layered on top of one another, uh, spread out like it would, uh, across different phases and pitches. So yeah, uh, set the pan to about 50, because we, we wanted the stereo, but not too stereo. Uh... Set the pitch to, I don't know, about 65. Leave the phase where it is because, you know, it's fine. And, uh, I mean, just right now, you already have a pretty basic super saw sound just by doing that. So, yeah. Uh, gonna want to adjust the uh, volume envelope too. So, uh, turn it on. Uh, I like to set it to tempo. Oh, speaking of tempo. Oh, it's already 170. All right. Uh, take the attack and just put it all the way like that and then drag the uh, sustain over so it's across one bar and then take the decay and just, uh, or decay, release and just put it to yeah, about right there. Oh, let me get the visual going. There we go. Now it just, you know, has kind of a Instead of just being immediately cut off as soon as you let go of the note, it kind of fades out. It makes it sound a little nicer, a little more pleasing to the ear. Uh, oh, I should probably explain this because I didn't do it in the last tutorial. Uh, if you go to Advanced, you can go to the uh, Performance versus Quality tab, and then you go to Precision, and uh, you could change, like how accurate the uh, algorith uh, algorithm is that FL or Harmer uses to calculate the uh, partials. I mean, I guess that's what it does. Anyway, uh, average, high, and perfect. Now, um, I can generally use high most of the time because I have like kind of a, a pretty decent CPU. But I mean, if you have like a really good CPU, you could put it on perfect. But I would recommend just using high unless you know your CPU could handle it. So put that here. Anyway, uh... Oh, another thing you're probably going to want to do is uh, adjust the uh, wave shape a little bit. So go to local EQ and then just take the low end and drag it down a bit. So that way there's more high end and less low end in the sound. Just make it sound a little nicer because you, you generally you don't want all that low end in your lead sound. And just a little more high end, it makes it sound brighter. So yeah, that's what we got now. Now, uh, since Harmer's an uh, additive synthesizer and uh, not a subtractive one, I mean, even though it has stuff that mimics the way a subtractive synthesizer works, it's still an additive synthesizer. So what this means is that there's... Instead of having, like, if you create a sawtooth, it's not making an actual sawtooth waveform. It's stacking... Uh, hundreds of sine waves on top of one another in each of those uh each of the harmonics a sawtooth would have and it uh, varies the level of each uh, partial to create whatever sound you're trying to make with it that's why it can um recreate things like audio files and make sounds from images because it just analyzes that and then puts the volume of each uh, partial where it should be to create that exact same sound. It's uh, pretty neat. But uh, since it works that way, the filters on here, they don't actually cut off the frequencies. They're just lowering the level of those partials as they go through them. 
So, like, for example, if you just go like this, all it's doing is lowering the level of each partial and then eventually turning it off when it doesn't need to be on anymore. And uh, since it works that way, you can use the resonance in an interesting way because it uh, it's actually just raising the level of those partials. So you can use it as sort of a pseudo EQ, which is uh, what I'm going to do right now. So set the shape to custom shape one. And normally you'd use this to like draw in your own filter shapes, like something like this. And then, but uh, we don't want to do any of that. We just want it to be all the way open. So it's basically like off. It's not doing anything. And then we're going to use the resonance to peak the, uh, let's switch it to classic mode, uh, to peak the high end of the sound. So let me, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Set this real high, put the width all the way open so it's as wide as it can be, and then you just play with it like this. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to use that to boost the high end. Uh, set it to about uh, 72, and then put the res at about, I don't know, 12. And that gives us a slight boost in the high end, gives it more, more makes it sound more bright, and it puts the frequencies where you kind of generally want them with this type of lead sound. Uh, and then uh, the filters right now, they're working in... Uh, Serial, I believe. So filter one plays and then filter two activates. So we're going to use a classic low pass here. We're going to add a bit of movement to the high end. So we can go like this. I set it to about 90. Go to edit articulator. And then set enable the articulator and then put uh, tempo. Put a point here and then put this all the way to 100. So now it's going to start at 100% and then over time, over half of a beat, it's going to cl uh, close down to 90. So now it sounds like this when we play it. And as you can see here, it kind of sweeps down in the high end. It just gives it a little bit of movement, makes it you know more pleasing to listen to. All right. Uh... That's it for part A. Now we're going to go over to part B. All right, and we're going to make essentially the same sound, but with some slight differences. So let's go. I think you can copy the part. Yeah, copy part, go to B, and then just hit uh, paste part. Now A and B are exactly the same. Pretty convenient. Uh, but we're going to make a few changes. So pitch, we want to put this from 65 up to 75. So it's the pitch on the unison slightly more detuned than the pitch on a uh, part a was then we're going to go over to frequency and this will change uh the pitch of part a uh, part b relative to part a so go over to the third point starting from the left and then just drag this over to one and then go to the next one over and drag it up to five so now it's uh, 0 0.0150 tuned away from part A, and that's just going to make it sound a little, sound be a little thicker. So let's see what we got now. There we go. Sounds a lot, a lot thicker, a lot nicer. So next, you're going to want to. Yeah, we're pretty much done, but uh, we're gonna add a little bit of a little bit of soft saturation to it. Uh, put the mix or the the filter all the way open, uh, and then set the amount to uh, thirty two, I guess. This just adds a little bit of this little like soft saturation. There's like really kind of pleasant distortion to it, not like abrasive, like you know heavily modulated dubstep bass style distortion uh and then that that's your basic sound right there let me throw a lead melody melody i wrote a long time ago in there just to see what it sounds like with one uh let's see Ooh, ooh, whoa too high no uh Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's change the notes. There we go. Basic Super Saw lead. You use this in like, you know, hardcore trance or whoa. What's with this black line right here? Some kind of graphical glitch. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, Alright, it's gone now. Uh, But yeah, you can use this in uh, hardcore, trance, uh, hard style. I mean, in hard style, you probably want to detune it a little more. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, also, you can add other things like uh, reverb, I guess. Put on bright. Enable it. Uh, but the cutoff, probably around 300 hertz for the low end. And then the high cutoff, about 12k hertz. Uh, size, you want it pretty big, about right there. Fusion, lower that down a little bit. Decay, about a little less than two and a half. 2.2 uh, seconds uh, the delay you actually you want to add that about 0 0.0.12 probably okay uh, dampening eh, leave it about where it is and then let's see what it sounds like now with the reverb There you go. And so you can make a simple super saw lead type sound with Harmer. I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, I will see you later.